I want to say good morning now to our editor-in-chief, Andy Serwer, who has been uh, watching uh, the employment picture here in this country, as we all have been. Hey, Andy, good morning. Um, so we found out that nearly 3 million more Americans sought jobless benefits last week. The number has actually subsided uh, since initial layoffs, uh, since they surged, but still at historically high levels. Do you think at least this is an encouraging sign that we're not hitting new highs on those unemployment benefits? Well, gee, Alexis, if you want to find that silver lining, I guess you could. But otherwise, I think the picture is extremely grim. I mean, 36 million Americans have lost their jobs in total since the coronavirus began. And I think, you know, we're starting to see mood swings, at least in the markets, and then maybe just generally in terms of confidence for Americans. So obviously, when the coronavirus began, there was a lot of pessimism and the market bottomed out uh, on March 23rd. Subsequent to that, you saw some optimism and people were suggesting, well, maybe we'll have a V-shaped recovery. This won't be so bad. Stocks rallied. And now just over the past several days, you know, obviously we've seen the market go down. We've seen some pretty um, pessimistic, I think you could call them, comments from Jay Powell, others like Stan Druckenmiller and David Tepper as well. And so the markets have gone down. And I think that it's a sobering time for Americans in terms of the economy, and in terms of the outlook for our society, quite frankly. Yeah, Andy, uh, look, I, we've, the market, to your point, has rallied uh, pretty hard. But, um, you know, when you talk to a lot of you talk to a lot of executives, when you're talking to them now, let's say the past couple of weeks, any sense that their businesses have bottomed? Is there any optimism in their voices? You know, it really depends on who you talk to, Brian, of course. I mean, that's the part that's so difficult. There's so many factors. What business are you in? What geographies? Are you global? Are you only domestic? All those things obviously would determine whether or not the outlook is grim to actually okay. I mean, Alexis was talking about Cisco and their business, of course, is doing okay because people are buying a lot of equipment to work from home. You know, and then the Fangs, of course, we all know are doing just fine. Whereas, you know, of course, the cruise lines that Emily was just talking about, I mean, you know, you're looking at possibly death's door for some of these kinds of companies. So, um, you know, it is it does depend. And I know that's maybe kind of an easy answer, but I think that really requires all of us to sort of look at the economy and investments that way. You know, it's not a broad brush. You have to be very specific and drill down. You know, Andy, one sort of phenomenon we might see happening here is that when economies start to open up and people are called back to work, will they want to go back? Uh, that's been a big question mark because some of these workers, especially lower income workers, those who maybe rely on tips like in the restaurant or hospitality industry, are actually making more money on unemployment uh, right now than they would if they were to go into work because part of the stimulus package was people was gonna, were going to get another $600 a week in their unemployment benefits. Um, some people may be fearful about going back to work, feel they're exposing themselves or their families. So what do you think that's going to do to the economic recovery? If some people on, the, on unemployment benefits right now say, you know what, it's just not worth it for me to go back to work yet. Well, don't tell the GOP about that, Alexis. <laughs> That'll be a red meat for them to cut that program, of course. You know, I think Americans want to work, and I think they want to go back to work, but they also want to be safe. And you talk about, you know, people on the front lines. A lot of these people are the hourly workers. I mean, we've talked about people working in stores or supermarkets, truck drivers, healthcare workers, meat packing factories. These people are in harm's way, and the job they've been doing is, has been pretty amazing. Now, you're talking about people like restaurant restaurant workers and people in doctor's offices. They would love to get back to work. And I think that people understand that, you know, even if they are getting a little bit more in unemployment, that that's not going to last for too long. And the real thing to do is to get back to work. So I think safety is going to be a bigger factor rather than just the, um, the, the benefit of getting unemployment right now. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you there. Andy Serwer, our editor in chief. Thanks so much. Thanks.